Today we've got an aluminum Ford F-250. And let me tell you, this one's a doozy. Now I'm not sure how this damage happened, but I can say whatever hit it, hit it very, very hard. These F-250s are no joke. Surprisingly enough, the paint was not damaged minus a small fracture at the bottom of the door. To complete this repair, I've decided to remove the door from the truck. I will start by removing the personal items from the door panel. Then I will remove all of the bolts holding the door panel to the door. And lastly, the bolts holding the door to the truck. Now I will place the door on a stand. This is by far the easiest way to work a panel, not only ensuring the best visibility and the best access for tools, but it's also the most comfortable for me. I am adding Solar Blitz glue to the Metal Medic No Dive tabs. This is a slow drying collision glue intended for large repairs like this. After this glue sets up, I will be ready to take the next step and start fastening a four ton Porta Power to these tabs. I will be using the Metal Medic adapters for my Porta Power. These are by far the most effective way to fasten a ram to a set of tabs. Now that the ram is set up, I'm ready to start expanding this dent. If you watch closely, you will see the center of the dent draw upward as I put outward pressure on both sides of this dent. Meanwhile, while under tension, I can start to work some of these crowns down. You can see how ineffective the hammering is, bouncing off the panel and creating very little changes. Persistence is key. Now, with the ram removed from the vehicle, you can start to see the shape of the metal coming back into place. Here, I am removing the leftover glue with a little bit of alcohol. And again, back to my blending hammer, working some of the highs that I could not see while the tabs were in place. The next step on the lower portion of the door is basically the same as the top. I'm going to be applying these tabs, adding tension, and watching this dent walk out. You can see here, as it expands, the dent rises, creating an opportunity to work the crown down while under tension again. Easily one of my favorite tools is a standliner sword tool. I'm going to be using this tool for the majority of this repair, and you can see here the tedious push and tap repair process. Pay attention to the ease in which this metal is moving. This means the metal is oil canning and is stretched. Luckily, I have a tool for this, the Cam Auto Heater Box 100. What this does is applies electricity to the inside of the panel to strengthen and draw the molecules of the metal back together. As most processes in the PDR world, this is again a give and take scenario. As you see here, I'm applying electricity, drawing the metal up and topping down again with a knockdown and a hammer. Down to the last 5% of this repair, I'm ready to start a polish and clean up some of the hammer work that I have done over the last several hours. I have resprayed the inside of the door and added cavi wax for an extra protection. Now that I am through the repair, I am ready to reinstall the door and get this truck back on the road. You can see here, no holes were drilled to do this repair. Remaining factory, intact, with factory finish, and no modifications to the integrity of this vehicle. This repair was performed in a single day, and since this customer decided against going through insurance, there will be no blemishes on the history of this vehicle. This means there will be no diminished value when it comes time to resell this vehicle. Feel free to like, comment, and share if you would like to see more repairs like this. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.